Hey guys, do you guys like racing games? On the N64? Then I got something for you. Oh yeah, you guys all know what this is. This is Let's Play Revolt on the PC in high definition English. <laughs> so what can I tell you about Revolt? Made by the late, by the late Acclaim Inter Entertainment, also by the people who made Turok, Revolt is a very physics-centric uh, racing game involving lots and lots of RC cars. Unlike most racing games, this this game takes place in very interesting tracks, like such as in neighborhoods, museums, all sorts of places where you could, where you'd always wanted to race an RC car, but never could. Assuming you ever used RC cars, I don't know if you guys are old enough to actually remember what those are. As you can see right here, I have completely cleared my progress, so I'm going to be starting this from scratch. This is going to be a completely 100% completionist run. I'm going to be playing through all these game modes and uh, getting getting every single little thing. Just to go over the game modes real quick, uh, single race is your typical just set of a race. However, you need to beat every track in single race in order to unlock some more cars. We'll be getting to that later. Um, championship is your Grand Prix. You know the drill. Beat four, four to five tracks, win a cup, get some unlocks. Multiplayer, I don't know about because that actually uses a program called RC House. And I have never tried that before. Maybe I'll do that in a bonus video, but uh, for the time being, I don't know. Anyway, time trial, you know the drill. Practice, you actually can free roam tracks and uh, collect stars. And uh, those are required to build get some more cars. Stunt arena, go around the stunt arena and get some more stars. Again, bonus videos. But for right now, the main videos are gonna be the championship stuff. This is the meat. This is the stuff you wanna see. Anyway, as I was saying before, the physics are some of the most, the most, the selling point of this game. Um, I'm gonna be doing this game on simulation, which is a completely, uh, quote unquote, realistic physics, both for the car and uh, the terrain. As you can see, there's also other options here that will make the the physics a little easier to handle. But right now, I'm going to completely do the game on uh, on uh, realistic physics. I'm just going to go through the cars here real quick. Um, I'm going to talk about the cars in detail in a bonus video right coming up right after this one. So uh, sorry if I'm going through the cars a little fast because. Uh, I just want you guys to quickly see the stats, and I will definitely talk about my feelings about each of these cars. And uh, I'll be doing this for every single uh, rating of them cars. As you move up, as you complete uh, cups, you get to access to more and more cars, and they get, just get better and better. But right now, I'm going to start from the bottom, go to the bronze cup. This is your typical stuff. Just uh, getting get third place or better. Your rankings uh, give you give you points. Have the most points at the end to win. So yeah, what can I tell you about Revolt Racing? Um, whoa, as you can see, excellent start by me. <laughs> anyway, one of the things I really liked about this game is the tracks. Even though there's only a few, not including their mirrored and uh, reverse variants, uh, I felt that they were all pretty interesting and definitely ran away with the RC idea. Instead of being like, a, unlike in Mario Kart where they're like official tracks or or uh, dirt stadium tracks. These take place in more uh, domestic areas, such as uh, in this in this series in this track. This is a uh, we're actually just driving around in a neighborhood. This track is called Toys in the Hood One. Uh, just to let you guys know, um, there's there's a there's various numbers for tracks. Like there's going to be a Toys in the Hood Two in the Gold Cup that is much harder, but uses a similar theme. However, each track is very unique, and uh, even if it uses the same theme as before. And uh, I'll be going over each track as we play through them. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, physics are extremely important to this game. Mastering the physics and making sure your car doesn't spin out or flip over is is the key to winning this game. As you were seeing back there a little bit, e even small little hills can kick, make my car completely flip over. Not only that, but uh, the power-ups are very centric towards uh, physics. This power-up I'm kind of saving up right now is called an EMP. It'll actually stop cars dead for a second. It'll basically cut out their battery if they drive next to me. It's arguably one of the best power-ups in the game. I'll show you some more power-ups as we go on, but uh, some others to talk about are, uh, I used it earlier that made my car glow orange. That's the battery. That makes you go very, have 10% more top speed for a couple seconds. However, the, you gotta be careful with that one because uh, you can easily go so fast you'll just flip right over if you touch something. In the, just a little tiny bump. Other items include the fireworks, which will cause cars to just kind of flip out. And it does a decent job of homing in. But, uh, what other stuff can I tell you? Uh, 
Yeah, this game was made by Acclaim Entertainment, more specifically Acclaim Vancouver. I don't know exactly the sales price of this game. There's not really a lot of good places to tell where games are, where uh, you can see uh, sales ratings. I'm not sure how game journalists get them, to be honest. But uh, Revolt remains one of my favorite racing games just because uh, it's so unique as a RC car racer. With it's just very extremely solid. The driving feels very n nice and fast, even when you're just driving these cars, these uh, little tiny cars. Uh, the power-ups feel really balanced. There's no blue shell necessarily in this game, although there is a global pulse item that stops everyone dead for a couple seconds. You can only get that if you're in if you're seventh or eighth place, and or if you find the hidden star on the track. Um, but that's very rare. That almost never happens. But uh, anyway, oh man, I'm just turn. I'm just kind of messing up here. Uh, looks like I'm just gonna come in second place, but that's okay. It's the first map of the game. I'll be fine. Yeah, as I was mentioning earlier, this is a, there's the point system right there. Anyway, moving on to our second track, Supermarket 2. For some reason, this is not Supermarket 1. Supermarket 1 is all the way in Platinum. I don't understand that design choice, to be honest. But anyway, uh, these are all just going to be easy tracks. You'll see me just completely smoking the competition because I play this game so much. <laughs> oh, man, look at that ice. As you can see... Uh, that doesn't come too often, actually, where it just affects your handling, other than oil slicks and uh, the ice part of this map. <laughs> you don't, be you won't believe how much that door has made me nervous. I've actually ran into it a couple times. This item I have is called the. Uh... Is this a shockwave? I, I can't remember the name, but basically, it just causes the car to just do a bunch of flips, and uh, it's it. It's not the most useful of items, like it can trip up players. Oh jeez, I am just driving like a boss right here. Whoa. <laughs> Sometimes it'll cause cars to uh, land upside down, but most of the time it just makes them do like a bunch of barrel rolls in the air. And uh, eh, I don't find it to be that useful, except if they're you're in a tight corner or tight tight corridor or turning a corner. Uh, this uh, what else can I say? What else can I tell you? This this map's pretty simple. The, a lot of the bronze level maps are pretty simple, so this won't be the most like breakneck stuff. Oh yes, one of my favorites, a fake item, right there. Same thing as in Mario Kart, just drop it near a... Just drop it somewhere, people explode. <laughs> uh, some... I, sh I should... Speaking of Mario Kart, I should talk about that for a moment. Uh, Mar just to let you know, Revolt was released in 1999, Mario Kart was released in 1996, and the reason I feel like I should compare them is because, uh... There are both, uh non-simulation racing games, although, okay, saying this is non-simulation is kind of, I disagree with that, but let me, let me just, let me get there when it comes. Oh, before I do that, uh, this item is a bomb. It's kind of a trick item in the sense that, uh, you start, your, your little, remo your little antenna starts, starts ticking down, and when it, when it, the timer runs out, it makes you just blow up. You can pass it on to someone else by bumping into them. Also, moving on to our next track, Museum. This is, the museum tracks are some of my favorites, even the, and if the museum one turned out to be completely a pain in the ass. But they're probably the most scenic and... Scenic and they are quite pretty for 1999. Anyway, um, I should compare Mario Kart and Revolt because they're both uh, very multiplayer-centric games. Like, the single player in this game is just bare bones, just Grand Prix, and unlocking things with it and the, and the practice modes. Um, what else? Uh, they also involve lots of power-ups and, uh, lots of power-ups and, yeah, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it what I want to say. I, I kind of prefer Revol over Mario Kart for a couple of reasons, mainly because I feel like, uh, I very much do not like the power-ups in Mario Kart. They just feel very, like, uh, just press a button and gain ahead. I honestly do like, I, I'm not saying I don't like Mario Kart. I think Mario Kart's a great game. It, uh... I guess the power-ups are there to prevent, like, very skillful players from just completely dominating the game. Although, Revolt is just a completely different bag of racing. And what I feel makes it so unique is, uh, that all the items are very centric around the, the physics system. I know I said that a bunch of times, but it just keeps, it just bears repeating. And that will be more evident as I get onto the trickier courses, which will very much challenge my, my car's handling. You, you just gotta, it's, 
you gotta keep, tr keep control of your car. That's the biggest thing about this game, and I feel like, uh... I really feel like that's where Revolt really makes it unique. And I haven't really felt like... I haven't felt like I've played a racer that, uh... That, uh, had so much, uh, focus on the physics. And, therefore, just Revolt... Revolt is easy to pick up, but, uh, the physic, but the controls and being able to easily spin out does give it a very high, uh, learning curve. Let's see, not a learning curve, a very high skill ceiling. Because it's pretty easy to, to learn to drive around and pick up power-ups and race against other people. Again, just completely smoking everybody, so here's me just driving completely around these tracks like I know them. I could drive around these tracks with my eyes closed and play this game too much. <laughs> um... But yeah, I unfortunately I keep going on about like multiplayer racing, but I never actually managed to play this game multiplayer. When I first played this game, I got it on the N60. I rented it for the N64. I own a PC copy. I got that way back in when I was in elementary school. Uh, in my school's a uh, software club fair, where you just buy a bunch of games. This is definitely the standout game there. Uh, since the claim is pretty much dead, people have actually been. Uh, been uh, allowing you to download this game for free on various websites. If I can find a site where I download this specific copy, I'll link it to you guys in the, in the description. Either this one or in the future. Um, what else can I say? Uh, oh yeah. Uh, there was actually a port for that was meant to go on Xbox Live Arcade called Revolt Live. I only recently heard about this, so I have little information, but basically uh, it was going to be ported for uh, Xbox Live. Um, it was actually very close to releasing, like they had a development version that only had a few graphical bugs, but it got canned for some reason. I don't know the entire reason, but uh, it really makes me sad because I would love to play this game on Xbox Live, like, uh, just play it against other people. I, I just love the, I just never got the chance to do that, and that's one of the biggest, that's just something I regret, kind of. I just didn't really get the chance to play with other people, and you can just tell that it, it is definitely one of those games that are that is easy to learn but difficult to master. Um, again, I'm going to try playing it multiplayer in the on the RV house, but uh, which is the which is an application that you can use to connect the multiplayer revolt sessions. But I just don't know how many people play this game anymore. This game definitely deserves more love. I think it was kind of a a sleeper hit, or I don't say sleeper hit, but more like a it's just a hidden gem. Whatever metaphor, crazy little metaphor you want to use. Whoa, whoa. Oh, I didn't even talk about this track yet. This is Botanical Garden. There's only one map that uses this theme, which is the one you're looking at right now. But it is one, I think it's one of the most perennial favorites just because it looks nice and also has really good track design. It uh, has its share of both uh, ramps and turns that, uh, that really just, uh, just make it for nice, smooth uh, driving, but still being challenging enough to require you to not just completely go through the turns. Ah, oh, watch out, oil slick! Uh, completely through, just barrel through the turns without at least trying to slow down. And then, I guess one more thing I should mention is why I picked this character. Um, Dr. Grunge, I picked him just because he's my favorite, he's my favorite because he has good weight, uh, a decent top speed, and uh, extremely high acceleration. I'll talk about, again, I'll talk about this more I have so much to talk about in the bonus videos about cars and stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is actually funny story. I actually used Dr. Grunge to beat uh, the Platinum uh, Cup one time. He's just, I just love his acceleration. Like, even with cars that are completely outclassed this one in terms of speed, uh, good weight, and even acceleration. <laughs> So yeah, I just completely smoked the the gold the bronze cup here. <laughs> so yeah, silver cup unlocked. Gonna get some more tracks and car. Oops. I, I don't get tracks yet. I gotta beat the silver cup in order to get the new. No, 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 no. That's right. I get new tracks and cars. I get the silver cup tracks. But yeah, that's me. I win. Woohoo! So yeah, that's the very brief first part of Let's Play Revolt. I'll see you all next time.